I swear, I've been looking all over this mall for my bestie and haven't been able to find her anywhere. Every time I call her phone, it goes straight to voicemail. I don't know how long she's been knowing that boy, but I do know that I just met him today. He comes off as nice, but it's the nice ones that I don't trust. Plus, with a friend like he has, I definitely wouldn't trust him no further than I could see him. Come to think of it, his friend just randomly got a phone call in the middle of all that rambling, then suddenly got up and left, like it was some kind of emergency. Now I'm starting to get worried. A whole hour has gone by, and I still haven't seen or heard from my bestie. At this point, I am beyond worried. I am scared. I want to call the police, but I don't want to make a claim, and then she shows up. So what I'm going to do is wait until 4.30. It just turned 4 o'clock. I'm going to go grab a coffee from Starbucks to keep myself calm. If I don't see or hear from her by 4.30, I am calling the police. Is that Rebecca? I did not know she worked at Starbucks. Let's see if she'll give me a free coffee. It is now 4.48 and I just got off the phone with 911. They said that the police should be here shortly. I sure do hope so. I am getting very anxious and impatient. I mean, where could she have possibly gone with that boy? I hope she didn't go into the family restroom with him. That would be very disgusting of her, but I know my bestie is nothing like that. Unlike some girls we know, she has love and respect for herself. That's why we are besties. We are one and the same. Though it's not like her to just disappear on me like this. I swear when I see her, I am going to strangle her and that boy she's with. But all jokes aside, I hope she is okay. Wait, what if he kidnapped her? No, seriously, what if he and his friend planned this all along? He gets her to meet with him here, bring his friend along to distract me while he gets her somewhere alone. Then he calls his friend and makes it seem like there's some kind of emergency so that he just ups and leaves me alone. Now I'm here looking like a dummy, searching all over for my bestie while she's probably with those two boys screaming for help while being taken against her own will. I swear I have the mind of a detective, but I have to stop watching first 48. I'm probably just overreacting, or am I? I mean, what if I'm right? What if this was all a setup and my bestie has really been kidnapped? Oh, thank God. I just saw two officers walk into the mall. I'm going to go speak with them. I think that's Officer Whitley, our friend Stanley's dad. I'm pretty sure he can help. Ugh. Could this day get any worse? They were simply no help at all. Officer Whitley said that she hasn't been missing for more than 48 hours, so they can't put out a missing persons report or do much about the situation. Talk about serving and protecting, huh? I am so over with this day. Please, Lord, don't let my bestie be kidnapped. I would hate to think that into existence. My mom always says what you think about is what you bring about. You know what? I'm going to go to her house to see if her mom has seen or heard from her. I'm pretty sure her phone must have died, and she had to get home in time to drop off her mom's birthday gift before she leaves town. Yeah, that sounds much better.